around you don't look so good Ha baby, so I need lately Stund im Ausch vom Everly Trace Ich sah nicht von Drohnen zum Mund Yo, what is up guys, Hassi here, and um, this is going to be a completely different video, as you can see it's not an edit. This is going to be a tutorial how to motion track with Buju, uh, Cinema 4D and Sony Vegas. Um, I've had a lot of people on my Skype ask me how to um, motion track with Cinema 4D and how to make the text um, kind of like form into place. So yeah, I'll be showing you how to do that. But first, you want to open up Vegas. You can do this with After Effects, but I find it so much easier to do it with Vegas. So you want to open, you want to import your clip. So um, I've actually already motion tracked this, but um, I need to find it. I think it's this one. Open it up. So basically, all you're doing in Vegas is cutting the clip to where you want the motion track. So how long you want it. I don't think this is it. I think this is the original video. Let me just see. I oh, know this may be the cut one actually. Yeah, I think that is the cut one. So um, what you're gonna want to do is when you're happy with your video, you want to hit render as. Oh wait, before you do that, this is gonna lag because it's just open Vegas. But um. I'll show you when this stops lagging, but you're going to want to right click on your um, video. You can delete the audio if you want, um, but you can do that in After Effects as well, or Vegas. So what you're going to want to do, I'll do that now, you hit U on your keyboard to un ungroup them and hit delete. Um, you can delete the um, that bit of the timeline, delete the track, and you want to hit right click, properties, disable resample and hit ok on hit file property for the whole this is for the whole thing and now mine's in 59.94 because that's what i set my vegas to um just because if you're not accepting 59.94 clips if you're editing in vegas um bail on your player because he doesn't know what he's doing but um from my motion tracks 1 and 30 because it would take about 10 years to render everything so yeah once you've done that you want to hit render as and then you want to render two things from Vegas. First, you want to render it in MP4. Um, I don't know why. I used to render it in .wmv, and now my Cinema 4D just doesn't accept that. So I go main concept AVC slash AAC .mp4. I go down to Internet HD 1080p, and then I hit customize, and I change this. You untick this, and you change this to 59.94 and click off it that is um, the right frame rate so I'm not doing this because I've already rendered this out but um, you want to hit that and then you want to hit image sequence and you render it as a JPEG but before you do this what you want to do is wherever you are so you see like this is what you're going to get a ton and ton of photos you want to make a folder because otherwise it's going to mess your desktop up I did that by accident once and you can't see, I can't see them because they're actually off my desktop but I have so many photos apparently um, so once you've rendered that out once you've rendered the JPEG pictures and the .mp4 you're gonna want, want to open up Buju and oh yeah my Vegas is really bad um, we don't need Vegas anymore you can just close that um, right I don't know what is going on Oh, my bougie crashed. Alright, let's reopen it. Come on. Here we go. So you're going to want to hit import sequence. And you could just find it. Um, mine's in editing. Oh, God, I don't know which one it is. Let's go with... Probably untitled. I think it's... Hmm. I don't know what am I doing? What am I doing? Right, so you wanna to wanna to open up your images, you wanna hit the first one. You wanna hit open. And then you wanna change the frame rate to 59.94 and you wanna hit apply and close it. And then you can scrub through your timeline here. And so that's the clip I'm using. 
now you're going to look at track features and it should already be selected but all frames hit start and um, this shouldn't take very long um, so yeah um, after this um, the, the really only harbour is in Buju um, it's actually finding the right track points and um, these are red dots everywhere that this clip can track but um, we're not done after this because we're going to hit camera solve which will basically make it easier for Buju to um, accept a motion track spot and it will make it easier for you to motion track which is pretty 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 helpful actually um, this should take about a minute longer yeah so um, after this you're going to want to open up Cinema 4D I already have it opened um, you can open it before and just hit file open uh, but mine probably is going to crash when I do that but we'll see um, so yeah when this finishes we will keep going now if this is your first time doing it Buju is a really really um kind of scary window like I have no idea how to do anything else in Buju other than motion track like I don't know what all of this does I know what this is um, apart from that not really anything else so if that's done that will take, that's the longest it's going to take, camera solve, and then you want to optimize camera path smoothness, this basically just makes it easier for Buju and for yourself, um, so yeah that won't take long, um, it's almost done, come on, alright, now you're going to want to go to around the middle, and if you've watched my most recent edit, this is exactly the same clip I used, and I motion tracked it here, so you're going to want to hit scene, scene geometry, add coordinate from hint and put it over here and change it to the Z axis I do this first because I don't know I just find it a bit easier and so you can select any point by just clicking on them and it will turn green but um, you need two for the Z axis and the X axis and then you need one for the origin so you want to hit whichever one you want so I hit that one then you hit control hold control and click this on and then hit connect to selected and then add another one hit X um, and then so the Z axis the one I just did is kind of like the vertical but um, obviously for here it, it, there aren't points here so I can do a vertical so you'll see hopefully this works and the X axis is horizontal so do the same pick two and this is kind of trial and error um, don't worry if it doesn't work first time, just redo your points. Um, if this doesn't work, which it may not, um, I will redo my points. And the last one, you want to hit the origin. I want to hit this one, connect to selected. And then hit update coordinate frame a few times. It doesn't always work. And then you want to hit add test object. Right, and that is perfectly tracked. You can see if I scrub through, it stays there perfectly, um, which is good. And if you if it, if it didn't track, so if this little ladybird moved, which is that's where the text is going to be, um, you just go to scene geometry and just delete all of these and just do it again. Um, and now this is a bug in Buju that I'm going to show you. you want to hit? So you, this is the normal one. You hit task. So you hit the plus and you hit plus and then you double click on the sequence and look, you see the frame rates changed. So you want to hit 59.94 and hit apply. Hit close. Right, then you're done in Buju, hit export, camera solve, and you want to uncheck this, change this to 100, and then hit browse, where are we going to do this, and you can save it anywhere, um, so desktop, um, I'll just save it in here just for now so it's easy, hit save, and then hit save, you can close Buju or just keep it open just in case, uh, hit Go into Cinema 4D, hit File, Open, or you can just open the file directly. So just double clicking that um, when Cinema 4D is not open. Keep it at 10 for the scale. And now you're going to see just a bit, a bit of a mess. So what you want to do, if you want to create a new material, double click it down here. Or you can hit Create New Material. Um, double click it. Hit the Play Arrow hit load image and now this is where my cinema 4d is kind of broken I think it's this one 
hit no, I don't know why, but I always hit no and it seems to work. Wait for it to load, and then you want to hit this one, and hit animation, keep that at 59, and hit calculate. And now, I don't know what happens to my Cinema 4D, but don't worry if it is white, because it only happens, it only affects the first three frames. Alright, and hit, now you want to hit this one, and oh, I did not mean to do that. Hold, hold your mouse down and then drag it down to background and then let go. So you now have a background. Drag your um, material onto there, which is basically your, your clip. And mine's white, don't worry, yours shouldn't be white. And if I'm right, if I go three frames over to the fourth, see, it's back to normal. So if I scrub through here, it's completely back to normal. I'd say go to around the middle. So around here, you can drag this out, but I don't think I'm going to use all of it. So you also want to bear in mind how you're going to affect the speed of your motion track when you go into After Effects, add Twixter and stuff like that. So um, if you want it to kind of speed up and then slow and then speed up again, um, you want to really see how um, how long your motion track is, so you can uh, kind of figure out how long you want and then you hit okay so now just back to this hit MoGraph hold it down again and let go on MoTeX now this will lag a lot for me but um well text is basically gonna come in here yep um I'm just gonna leave it as text because it's nice and easy um if you want to have two colors that you see some people have um, you just insert another mo text so let's do that um, I don't know if this one what is yeah see and they're both going to be tracked but I'm only going to use one um, just for the tutorial so you want to hit this button which is basically you can rotate it however you want you can rotate it like this like this, um, I normally have it, obviously I have it straight like this, um, let's try and get this perfect, you can also change your view by hitting this, and wait for it to load, and um, basically just tells you if it's dead straight, so this one, you can see it's not straight according to this line, which is the middle, um, you can do it just by judge judgment as well. Um, I don't know what I did to this text. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. What have I done? Here we go. No, that's the wrong way around again. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Oh, we got it. We got it now. Um, I normally hit middle down here, middle which basically puts it right in the middle and you can move it, that's if you're going to do like your name and then presents, but um, it doesn't always track very well, see like that moved, well, that was just lag, it, it does move a little bit if you do into the middle, but otherwise if you don't hit the middle it, it doesn't really track, it doesn't really um, look very good. So I'm just going to keep it on left for now. You can change the depth to, I don't know, about 100. Ah, that's way too much. 50. i just leave it at 20 to be honest with you. Um, put it back to 20. Um, I, don't, I don't really do this anymore because of random. And this is the thing about um, making your text kind of break up and then go back. So we're going to do that now. Make sure you have your text selected and hit MoGraph, Effector, and then go down to Random and let go. Right, and this has just done this, so you want to be like, oh god, my text is messed up. Don't worry, go to Parameter, unclick Position, hit Rotation, and now this is completely up to you. This is what I do, these are my settings. I do 45, 20 and minus 10 
like that. Um, it also depends on your word, on your actual text. See, it doesn't look very nice for this, so I'm going to change this down to 30. Um, and I'll change this to 15. I'm going to make that 10. That looks quite nice. Also, um, change your font because that font is disgusting. Um, I'm going to use the font I always use, which is Typograph Pro. Um, here we go, Typograph Pro. And now I'm going to scale this down because it's massive. But yeah, that, that does look quite nice. Um, obviously, you can make it look a lot nicer by um, properly doing this, but I'm just doing this for tutorial sake. And now what you're going to want to do is um, make it kind of come in and out. So let's say we go to 40, 40 frames. Now let's go to let's go to where we can see it all. And um, where are we? Where are we? Okay, let's go to here. And you're gonna hit Control and hit that. And that sets a keyframe. And that's at 100. Um, I'm actually gonna delete that keyframe. Animation. Delete keyframe. You can do right click animation add keyframe but I'm going to set this to zero which is you means your text is back at nothing so that's the transition of the text right there and we're going to keyframe that so it does that without you obviously scrolling if you want to hit control and just right click or sorry left click uh, or hit animation add keyframe and then I go to where I can just see the text this is what I did anyway um, I'll start here, and then you want to hit, I want to go to 100, and then hit control, add keyframe, and if you scrub through here, it's probably not going to work very well, because it's going to lag as I'm recording, but as you see, so here, it looks almost perfect, here it's completely messed up, so that's it, you can change everything, you can change other stuff, I mean, you can do trial and error. Um, for most of it, but you don't want the position because that's going to move it around and probably untrack it. Scale's up to you, but it'll probably just look a bit, bit disgusting. And the rotation is obviously the one we wanted for this tutorial. Now, um, that's really the main bit of the tutorial done. Um, I will do more tutorials if you guys want um, on anything, pretty much on other motion tracking stuff. So, adding light rooms. Um, how to do lights, my render settings, um, how I make a motion track look nice and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's probably going to be the end of this tutorial. Obviously then from now you hit render, add to render queue and um, yeah, you just render it out and then you're done. You can change the color of this obviously by adding materials. So just making it a different color by, I don't know, going like that. You can get preset colors. Um, for material pack giveaways and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it so it doesn't take very long if you're if you know how to use Buju it won't be very long at all and um obviously um I may leave a link to all of these programs so Vegas is going to be a bit harder for me to leave a link to because um, I actually can't remember where I got mine Cinema 4D pretty much any video um, on YouTube will have a good download link and Buju Buju is a bit harder to get um, because it's such an old program and it costs a lot of money, but I'll, I'll try and leave download links to all of them um, So yeah, thanks for watching This motion track tutorial and yeah, I've been happy or will and peace